In this session, we'll be detailing you about virus history. So the very time you're talking about virus history, there are four important names coming up into the picture. Those have been found associated with viruses. The very first name is Pasha. And he coined the term what you call viruses and viruses mean some poison. So they are called poisonous fluid. So Pasha coined the term viruses and viruses means venom, venom or poisonous fluid. When you talk about the second person, Ivanovsky, Ivanovsky first saw viruses as the causal organism of this disease which is called TMV, tobacco mosaic virus. He took out something from what you call tobacco uh, and that was causing the mosaic nature in the tobacco. Tobacco leaves were having the mosaic nature. It was not all of one green color. There were like spots where the virus was coming and infecting. He identified that particular causal organism as viruses. And he also found that these viruses were able to cross bacterial filter. Remember, I've already told you viruses are smaller than bacteria. So they can easily cross bacterial filter. And he also told the viruses can cross bacterial filter. The third important scientist called Bezernik. What did he do? He took one infected tobacco, infected tobacco as in like the tobacco which was having the infection with TMB, tobacco mosaic virus. He took out the what you call cellular sap of that particular to infected tobacco and gave it to the healthy plant. And healthy plant suffered from the same disease. So he gave in his language called contagium vivum fluidum. The viruses are some infectious living fluid which can be transferred. The fourth name, W. Stanley, very important. They crystallized TME for the first time. And remember, tobacco mosaic virus is the first crystallized virus. Now, what is crystal is making what you call, you know, what is crystallization? It means making crystals. You must be knowing that sugar comes from sugarcane juice. Now, sugarcane juice is liquid. Sugar, what you see is in the form of crystals. So what do we do? We First of all, we lyophilize the solution and any of the sap you have. Let's suppose you have TMB sap. You lyophilize this. Lyophilize means removal of water. And you have the machines. Those will draw the what you call from the lyophilized powder. They can draw the crystals. So TMB was the first crystallized virus. Remember, crystallization is only the property of non-living being. So viruses are also non-living and because of that they are showing you the capacity of crystallization. So in next session we will be detailing you about different types of viruses.